What is up? Happy Friday to everybody. Welcome back to 401 News. I am your host, B. Cray. If you are new to my channel, please like, comment, share, and subscribe. And click the bell if you like what you see and what you hear. If you are an OG fan, thank you for coming back. Let's jump into some 401 News today. I promise you, I'm not gonna keep you long, but there is some stuff we gotta talk about because a lot of stuff been going on these last few days. So first, let's talk about our blowout game of the seat of this of week seven, and of course, or was it week eight? One of the two for NFL. But anyway, it was the Dallas Cowboys got blew out by the Detroit Lions, 47 to nine. It makes you wonder. Did Dallas even come to play? Did they even put their real team out there? Or was it just the practice squad? <laughs> or the practice squad might have been better. But anyway, on top of it all, it was Jerry Jones' birthday. So, happy birthday, Jerry Jones. <laughs> but, anyway, <laughs> but anyway, let's go ahead and jump into some art, some, um, some, <laughs> some entertainment news, because it has been a lot. So let's start off, since we're already talking about the NFL anyway, Let's go ahead and put this out. Rock Nation will continue to produce the um, Super Bowl halftime show. I guess their contract got extended. So big props to Jay-Z for doing the thug dizzle by putting on the last couple of uh, Super Bowl halftime show for the last couple of years. So I guess fans are liking it. People are liking it. They're bringing money into the, into the NFL. So I guess Robert Goodell is like, just keep, keep letting them run it. So big money goes out to Rock Nation for extended contract for putting on the Super Bowl halftime show. So, hey, can't hurt what it can't. Don't broke what's already fixed, right? That's what they said. Something along those lines. Yeah, you know how it goes. I don't remember how it goes, but you know how it goes. All right, while we're on talking about you know, music, let's go ahead and get into 50 Cent. So, y'all know 50 Cent has, has always said he would never do a, a residency in Las Vegas. But I guess with the right amount of money, he's going to end up doing his Las Vegas residency. So they, Las Vegas have paid him $15 million to do a six-show six show residency in Las Vegas. And the name of it is going to be 50 in the club. If you do not know what a Las Vegas, Las Vegas residency is, is that he will perform at a, I want to say like a, a venue for six months straight. I'm sorry, for six shows straight. And that's all he, that's kind of like his place of work, more or less, for six shows. He'll go in there, he'll put on a whole show, the show is on him, so he'll do the whole show. And he got, and he's gonna get paid $15 million. But as you know, he don't got nothing new out. Suppose he's gonna put some new stuff out, so we'll see what happens. I wasn't expecting it, but we'll see what happens. As usual, y'all know, more people have came forward in the whole P. Diddy thing. Um, I'm done talking about P. Diddy and his multiple issues right now. But more people have came forward. Supposedly, there is a, I think, 16, 17-year-old that also came forward. No, I'm sorry. An adult that came forward and said when he was 16 or 17, he was sexually assaulted by P. Diddy. So the, the, the tag keeps turning for P. Diddy. I don't foresee him coming out. Any, like I don't foresee him coming out at all. But we'll, we'll see. We'll let the we'll let the legal system handle that how they need to. So while we're talking about P Diddy, let's talk about Bow Wow. So y'all know Bow Wow. You know Roof Roof Bow Wow, uh, the dude that hosts 106 in Park a while back for you for you older people. And you know he had a couple of uh, albums out back in the day, and then he did a couple movies too. So he was on uh, one of one of these shows. He had a sit down with Rock Roxo Diaz. Uh, he's a podcaster, and um, his podcast is called More to the Story. So you had so you had he had Bow Wow up there, and Bow Wow was talking about how the BET Awards didn't feel complete without. A Sean P. Diddy party. So, you know, as he went on, he kept on talking. He was trying to separate the party 
from the freak offs. And uh, I personally, I think Bow Wow just need to just bow out, be quiet, and sit down somewhere. Like, you can't sit there and be like, we missed a P. Diddy party when there's so much stuff tied to this P. Diddy party. Like, it's so many freak offs tied to these parties. Like, so many people are getting raped and assaulted in these parties. You shouldn't even be talking about these parties. And I know they're two separate entities, but the end state is still the same. The end state is still the same. P. Diddy had a party. Party ended, P. Diddy did bad things to bad people. I mean, P. Diddy did bad things to good people. So you really can't separate them. It, it kind of, To me, it goes together. And Bow Wow, I, I think you need to just hush up. <laughs> hush up until there is, a, there is a ruling on what's been going on at these P. Diddy parties. That's the way it should be. So that's my opinion. I think P. Diddy needs to just keep his mouth, his mouth shut. And, you know, like, look. Look into your social death people. Jermaine Dupri is still there. He can still throw parties and things like that. Somebody else can take on the mantle and throw in parties after the BET Awards. It don't always have to be P. Diddy. But while we're on the P while we're on the BET Awards, let's talk about the BET Awards. The BET Awards, I want to say it was Tuesday. So there, I'm just gonna read a couple of the people who took home awards. So Nicki Minaj, Pink Friday, she won two awards. One was album of album of the year. Kendrick Lamar took home the most awards, but most, but some of them he took home Artist of the Year, he took home Song of the Year, he took home Best Video as well, just to name a few. Sexy Red, Sexy Red, they finally gave her an award. So Sexy Red took home the award for Best Breakthrough Artist in Hip Hop. Yeah. And then Missy Elliott took home an award for best live performer. So there was a lot of awards given out during the BET Awards. From my understanding, I did not watch the BET Awards, but from what I read through social media and things like that, they said most of the performances were a lot of old school performance, I guess, giving tribute back to the old school artists. Um, they, said, they said Trina was there. Trina brought out a uh, uh, Gorilla, I think. And if y'all haven't looked at Gorilla has a new uh, new CD out, so go out and listen to it. I haven't listened to it yet. From what I've heard, the reviews I back from that they said it is it is a great C is a great album. So I'm gonna download it and start listening to it probably this week. Well, this weekend. Well, it won't be this weekend because I'll be busy this weekend. Probably be next week. I'll start listening to it to see what it's all about. So hopefully it's good. Like I said, everybody's talking how good it is. So. I'm going uh, I'm to dive into it to see how good it is, and then I'll report back to you next week on her album. Last thing I want to talk about is R. Kelly. So R. Kelly's been silent out of the news for a while. The reason he's been out of the news for a while is because there has been no new allegations in regards to what R. Kelly. R. Kelly's in jail for the same thing P. Diddy is in jail for. Speaks for itself. But the thing that hit the news this week is that R. Kelly's daughter step forward her name is joanne kelly and she has accused her father of sexual assault himself excuse me sexual abuse as a child this was broke on i want to say this this news was broke on uh i want to say tmz or either it was people it was people she came out to people magazines she said i remember waking up to him touching me she said she was crying, and I, these are her words, and I didn't know what to do. I just laid there and pretended to be asleep. She, she continued to say he was my everything for a long time. I didn't even believe it was happening. She told the magazine first, People's Magazine first. Um, so through his attorney, R. Kelly says he denies these allegations. And that's what his attorney uh, came out and said on TMZ. He said his ex, his ex-wife made the same allegation years or years ago, and it was investigated by the Illinois Department of Children and Family Services, and it was unfounded. R. Kelly is currently serving a 20-year prison sentence at the at a facility in North Carolina 
after he was convicted of sex crimes involving manners in Chicago, racketeering charges in New York. Sound familiar? <laughs> Sound like P. did it to me. Uh, but anyway, people, that... <laughs> But that's all the news I got for today, man. It, it, it's it's ridiculous. It is ridiculous. It is just ridiculous, as my granddad was, as ignorancy and ridiculousy. But anyway, not to keep like I said, I wouldn't keep you long. I want to get the news out. A lot of news going on. Big pops to the people who wanted the BET Awards. Uh, keep doing what they're doing. I don't watch the BET Awards because I feel like it kind of ran its course for me. But if you still watch the BET Awards, let me know down in the comments if you still watch the BET Awards. Let me know how you feel about the whole R. Kelly situation because that's his daughter. And it's a serious matter. I'm not, I'm saying every sexual assault allegation is serious, but if his daughter is very, very serious because that makes me believe that if it's true, that's where it started at, before he started doing it to other people. But that's if the allegation is true. You know, his wife tried it before. So, to me, if his wife tried it before, there had to be something that made her try it before. Something that was said, something that was did, that, that got her to call the police or child protective services in to be family be investigated about it. So, could it be some truth to it? Yeah, the world would never know until it gets out in court. So, yeah. And um, good good job, Jay-Z, and your extended contract. And Dallas Cowboys, I'm sorry. <laughs> they go into a bad this week, so hopefully they can get themselves healthy and get their, get their stuff back out there next uh, next week and do something. Doug Dizzle, Bow Wow, shut up. <laughs> that's all I can say. Bow Wow, shut up. That's all I can say. But anyway, that's all I got for y'all today. Please like, comment, share, subscribe. Thank you for the support. Thank you for the follow for the follows and the subscription and people subscribing. We gotta keep subscribing. Please keep sharing so we can get our 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 subscribers up. Last, I'm sorry, this is the last thing. There are a lot of you who comes and watch 401 News. And I thank you so much for it. I love you so much for it. I need you to do one, one more thing for me. I need you to click the subscribe button. Just click it. Just subscribe one time. It's right under the video. It's like there's the video. Then like there is the subscribe button. Just click the red button that says subscribe. But if there is something that's that's not that's that's holding you back from subscribing, let me know down in the comments what it is. I'm willing to make changes to get your subscription. I'm willing to make changes to get you to subscribe. So just let me know. Um, I think one person, he said there was, some, there was some audio issues. You can probably hear it in one ear, not the other ear. I'm going to try to fix that with this video. So thanks for the feedback on that. And like I said, that's all I have. Love and appreciate every single last one of y'all. Thank you for all you do. Thank you for all you do for your country as a whole. I don't care what it is you do. Thank you for all you do for your country. Thank you for what you do for your family. Thank you for what you do for any and everybody on this earth. Remember, encourage, support, everybody. And I'll see you on the next one. Peace.